Juniors of the world, J.R. Richmond is in the building. What's up, J.R.? I'm good, Rob, man. We back better than ever. Tell a friend, tell your friends, so all your friends out there, man, to like and subscribe to the beautiful show that we got. Blessing y'all with knowledge each and every single show that we put out there. For sure. For yeah. sure. Man, For yo, sure. I tell you what. Let's the weather it. is upon us because it's snowing. It's snowing out here. It's snowing. Mm. Yeah, we in yeah. the winter time, my brother. Yeah, yeah. Jack Frost is like, yo, I'm still around, man. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'll pick, I'll pick, the, um, I'll pick a winner over the summer each and every single time, though, man. But I do not like to be hot and sticky, though, man. You already know about that, man. Oh, man, it's the worst. Now, you ever be up in bed? And you just sweating through your sheets, you try to rip them off, like they sticking to you. <laughs> For sure, bud. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I just think it. But you dress better, man, than winter time. Oh, though. yeah, that, that's how oh, the flies gill come out. You know what I'm saying? The flies. Yeah, no doubt, though, man. But, yo, let's go ahead, man. I, something that, we got some right now that's already hot. It's blowing up the waves and everything, though, man, all across social media. Allegedly, Allegedly, mm -hmm. allegedly, allegedly, Chris Brown got himself in a situation, not himself in a situation, but there's an ongoing investigation to see what's going on with this problem that came about, everything, though. Being accused of a sexual assault and um, on a yacht, claiming that the man, young man, Chris Brown, is 29 years old, has been drugging and sexually assaulting women. The alleged assault reportedly took place on a yacht on the 30th of December 2020 in Miami, Florida. Radio 1 News Beat has contacted Chris Brown's management mm -hmm. and record label for comment, but nobody responded yet, though, man. So right now, it's a crazy situation, though, man. You got any thoughts on this? Man, the thing I can say, man, that man... He was up there, I think last year or something like that. He, uh, you know, he got his masters. He was wanting to, you know, take control, full control of his masters. So every time, listen, listeners, when you want to get control of your masters and like that, especially with Chris Brown, what he like, what worth net worth fifty million, but you were saying something about um, he sold over like a hundred and ninety ninety million copies or whatever. So you talk about you want to. Go and be independent, or you want to have control or more access to whatever, whatever. That's what's bound to happen. That's probably what was going on when he was uh, when they had him with that Rihanna situation, and everything. So, kudos to the folks that want to be independent. Yes, sir. Yeah, though, man. But he did release a statement on his Instagram, and pretty much he was saying, though, man, he's being sued because he is releasing new music. Right. And he also <laughs> want to say. Wow. I hope y'all see this pattern. Whenever I'm releasing music or projects, he wrote, the lawsuit has been filed mm -hmm. by a verified professional dancer and musician. Right. His name only as Jane Doe in legal right. documents. But oh, that's how they that's how they do it, man. Hey, them yeah. them them legal fees, they not cheap, huh? You know what I'm saying? Legal yeah, no doubt though, cheap. man. So you guess people just gotta Wait and see how the thing plays out, though, man, though. You know what I mean? So, we'll see how it goes. We'll see. Hey, man, keep keep pushing, Chris. Straight up. <laughs> no doubt, though, man. No doubt, though. It's cold world, though. Cold world. Moving along for Chris Brown, man. Let's talk about your boy, man. This is how we do it. Yo. <laughs> yo Montel Jordan, the man himself, man. Chart Topper. That song was played everywhere. Everywhere. It's been all over the airways, been in commercials, it's been in restaurants, it's been in amusement parks, it's been everywhere though, man. It's a popular song though, man. You know what I mean? But you got a little bit of story in this. You know, he did sell one million copies of that um of that uh, chart copy right there, right. man. This is how we do it. You know, it was main seven main on the billboard top one hundred man for seven weeks. You know, he did his thing, though, man. So, what you got to say about anything? Let people know about hey, his situation. This is, a, this is a prime situation right here. He did the opposite of what Chris Brown did. This dude gave his rights and everything away. 
<laughs> now you said it was uh, that number one song worldwide, right? Worldwide, right, man. You know what I mean? It's been out there, chart topper. It remained on the hot one hundred for um, seven straight weeks. See, but but the thing is, you know, he he done gave his he gave his rights and everything up. So now his net worth is what five hundred thousand. Down. Why? Then he said he wanted to get closer to the Lord or some some mess that he doing, and also he's um he owed IRS. Now that's the real mall right though. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, for for y'all listeners out there, make sure y'all do y'all taxes, man. Straight up, stay on top of that. No doubt, though, man. Sorry, sorry about that man, though, man. Sad though, because he been one of the best. R&B I mean, song. That was all I, over, I, I, I'm not gonna say it's one of the best, but it's definitely catchy. It's hey, very speaking catchy. of catchy songs, though, which one do you think is more catchier? This is how we do it, or Hey Hey Ya? Yeah. Hey, to be honest with you, man, with that Hey Ya, yeah, that's the album that you know what Outkast them did. That was the album right there. Speak of Boss and Love Below. That's the one that went diamond, and a lot of folk like that was one in the black side and the white side, and whoever else that did. It. So I have to say, hey y'all. But nah. also, this is how we do it in the '90s. He the he the king, you know what I'm saying? Um, he the king, boy. Yeah, when that song came on, especially when you're in the skating ring, yeah, people went crazy on skating ring. Hey, they went. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's something else that was going on that was uh, off scene or behind the camera. Because, <laughs> bro, how you gonna give up your whole entire like? How you gonna do that, man? Basically, with some behind the scenes stuff going on, man, that drove him to uh, <laughs> with the board and um, sell his rights to his um, his uh, number one truck company. It was song. something that he got caught up into, man. He got caught up in something, man. He, he got caught up in something. something. Cause think about look. it. Cause think yeah. about it. Like, okay, you making that big money. Of course, you're gonna meet a lot of women. Of course, you if you marry, you're gonna cheat on your wife. They didn't mention nothing about drugs. So what else could it be? Just let that let that sizzle. Well, now you know you heard it here. You know whatever you think, what you thought. Good luck to the man, yo. But yeah. it was pretty stupid for him to do that, though. Uh, it was, yeah, it was dumb, though, man. Speaking of dumb, let's keep it dumb and let's keep it um. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna say less talented, mm-hmm. but I will say it's tacky. Okay. Let's talk about um Shanice Shanisa, young woman from um Jamaica and Meg the Stallion. Right. That's three the horse. <laughs> um let's talk about the song they got named Lick. It's a catchy song for people out there though, man. I guess some people like it. Some people got, you know, their own opinion about the song though, man. But a lot of people are talking about how classless and um Raunchy and uh, it's very over sexualized. You know, right now it seems like it's all black women are known for right now in the hip hop game. Um, we'll let you take this over real quick, though, man. But it's something that you don't see anymore with women in hip hop, man. It's something called lyrics. There's nothing about them that's lyrical whatsoever. So every female rapper right now is like um, a recycled, remastered version of what one artist already is because none of them are any good. My Lil Kim, remember uh, Lil Kim back in the day she was freaky talking freaky but she also had lyrics with it though she yeah, had lyrics and she didn't push the she wasn't over sexualized so I didn't know. it's nah. like it's like it's like porn stars rapping now. Right. <laughs> right right you know so if you look at Lauren Hill Queen Latifah MC Light Jean Grey Bahama Dia Raw Digger if you look at them all just like right there man they all had lyrics and these women right here they can't touch them whatsoever, though, man. Take it away, dog. Hey, the thing that I can say, man, the whole point that they're doing is because they're doing that feminism and all that. And I'm saying, hey, men, I hear your woman, your old lady, your wife or whatever, they want you to, you know, pleasure that clitoris. It's a, um, y'all know the little red riding hood? That's all, that's a, a symbolic of sexual activity. The little red riding hood is a symbolic term for pre puss technological term for foreskin so it really means foreskin the fold of skin surrounding the clitoris just stimulate the clit man that's all what they're talking about brother hold on real quick basically 
put it down to y'all like this. It don't matter about the size of your manhood and everything, though. If you control that little Red Robin Hood with my own boy was talking about, it looks mm-hmm. like and everything, though, you're going to control that woman. Yes. It, ain't about the, it ain't about the size, though, man, because right now, how you got these ladies that love ladies la, 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 la. crowd la, 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 each other la, la. you know what I mean when they be going ahead and Mr. Scissors going on and everything though they getting off that way it ain't about that it's about how you control that little special spot that they got it's the motion in the ocean it's the motion <laughs> in the ocean You're right it's that it's, it's that it's that liquid submarine going for that gold so we, so we already, we are, you heard it first from J.R. Rich, man. We already know what's going on. So the men, they're thinking that they out there, they doing the smackdown. Nah, that's not what it's about. That's not what it's about. It's about you pleasing your female and make sure that clitoris is on point. You know what I'm saying? So. No doubt, man. No doubt, though. Got anything else to say on that? Or are you done with it, though? But the whole thing with the, um, with the Joe Von Pete. We talked about this uh previous man. We need a we need a real female to actually uh you know explain how they want to be licked or whatever cuz we already know what's up. You know, if you live you if you're fans of J.R. Rich man, you already know what we think about Jovan Roof Pete. All right, then, my good brother, my good brother, man. While we keep you know, on this train of um suspect behavior. <laughs> let's talk about your boy, to close it out. I see um, Tom Perry has brought back Medea as a retired character about, like, what, about two years ago? Yeah. A year ago? Year and a half. I had a funeral for it, then. Yeah, so he retired Medea, and now he brought Medea back. Medea Homecoming is coming out, though, man. But my thing is, it's time for you to go ahead and just let that role go to a real biological woman, though, man, because being you six foot four, Dressing up as a woman is scary. It's not funny. <laughs> it's not scary you know, about it. You got you got Eminem dressing up as Britney Spears. I don't know why Eminem dressed up as Britney Spears in the first place. You already made fun of the person. Now you want to dress up as a person as well. You want to put the wig and the skirt on and stuff like that, though, man. Yo, man, be a man. It's crazy, though, man. Look over here, real quick. Yeah, I just think that is a bunch of nonsense. It seems like them folk, man, they out there. Hey, for y'all women that's up here supporting this wave that's happening, this weird, strange wave that's happening. Hey, basically, y'all are pretty sure. Huh? They're trying to replace women, man. Yeah, they try. That's what I'm about to say. They they really trying to replace y'all. Y'all sitting up here, you know, supporting that. That's what I'm saying. That's why y'all need real alpha men to come up here and. Set the record straight on what's going on. We need each other, man. We need balance. So y'all need to really wake up on that. But yeah, I think just a bunch of nonsense, man. You know, it just seemed like he, like especially with Tyler Perry, he too, he feel too comfortable in that suit in, man. Like straight up. Stop. No doubt, man. Stop. Rest of the myself, though, man. Anyway, hey, I hope y'all like the show. You know, each and every single day we try to do better and better, man. Most definitely. Each and every day. Peace, love. And also, I'm going to drop down in the link, man, for y'all folk that want to um, do some investment, man. Check out Acorn. Referral, you get $5 to start your thing first starting off with investment. You know, so peace, love, and light. Yeah, I already signed up.